So are you suggesting that the tweet that Trump gave was the reason that this co-Olympic uh, team and cheerleading and is because of that tweet that that started? I, think, I don't know, is it, you know, that particular tweet, but his, his posture is not, you know, we're not going to, we're not going to keep playing the same game. You know, that we're not going to just keep on with the same tactics. That we're going to take a different approach and it's going to end with the problem solved, not with us continuing in the same situation we are. And I think that signal was, was heard, uh, you know, both north and south of the, the DMZ. And I think that's part of why the movement that has occurred has not the only factor, of course, but I think it's a big one. That's very, very interesting because uh, be right before he made that move, people accused uh, President Trump of escalating the situation with uh, Rocket Man and my button is yeah. bigger than your yeah. button. Yeah. And, um, you know, so it... He did a 180 on, well, it's Trump, you know. We, well, we, I don't know that it was a 180. I, I, you know, I think that it was, you know, for one thing, you know, he's right. Our button is a lot bigger, right? And I think that that sort of drove home a point that, you know, the, the North Koreans had to reckon with. It's like, you know, he might be crazy enough to do it. You know, the others have talked a tough game, but this guy... He's, you know, he doesn't operate like the rest of them. He might just do it. And I think that's part of why they're like, you know, we might want to look for uh, other solutions. Okay. Um, I think we've got to move on forward. Or did you have something? I would just say that this is the one area where I fear overreach by President Trump the most. Because I think privately what they're saying is uh, it's pretty frightening in terms of the sort of aggressive nature of things that they're proposing. So this is one area where I do fear overreach. Mm -hmm.